Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the Wi-Fi control options for the DJI Mavic Pro. The reason I want to look at these is it's not something a lot of people have used, and there's a couple of quirks about it that people may or may not be fully aware of. So what I'm going to do is just walk through a couple of things, um, what you do, how it works, and a couple of the settings. Before we get the craft up in the air, I'm just going to look on the app and just take you through a couple of settings. So obviously what I have done is put the aircraft into Wi-Fi mode with a little switch on the side. I have then uh, linked my phone to the craft via the Wi-Fi and the SSID key and opened DJI Go, and it is automatically connected. When you go into the settings, if you click on the little symbol there, you then have a few options in the Wi-Fi settings. A standard, it sets it to 2.4G, which is 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. You've got the option to set it to the 5G Wi-Fi and the dual, so it will use both. As standard, I've set it to 2.4. As we scroll down, you can actually see the local Wi-Fi band and the blue channel is the one we're on with red, an unusable channel and the greens, which are perfectly fine to use. At the bottom, you've got the option here, which I can slide back and forth to manually select which channel it's on. You've got a reset option, which then resets the Wi-Fi settings back to default. And then finally, you've got the SSID Wi-Fi password. And right at the bottom, you've got your image quality. And this allows you to change it from one megabits to or four. Obviously, the higher the data rate, the shorter the range you will be. It's set to two megabits as standard. Now, Let's get the craft in the air to get this going and um, we'll get it going. Right, the way the app works is, if you imagine the screen is partitioned 50%, the left hand side is your left stick, your right hand side is your right stick. So if I now push up on the left side, it puts the aircraft up. If I yaw it round, I can bring the camera down. There it is, hello, wave at the camera. And I can rotate the aircraft. And then on the right hand side, if I take it out of manual focus, I can then go forward and back. Now, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of in Wi-Fi mode. Number one, obviously, is the range. It's not going to have anywhere near the range you would get on the controller. You'll be lucky to get 80 to 100 meters. To ensure that people don't go too far, DJI have put in a fixed limitation. So a maximum altitude of 50 meters and a distance limit of 80 meters. This cannot be disabled. So this is permanently fixed in for Wi-Fi mode. So there will always be a limitation of 50 to 80 meters. Um, so just to demonstrate that, I'll put a bit more height on the aircraft. And what I'm gonna do then is send it off this way. And as we can see, the distance is going up on the bottom. Now I'm actually walking behind the aircraft as I'm doing this. And to be clear about that as well, th the distance limit is 80 meters from takeoff point. It is not from the pilot's location. So even though I'm using um, a smartphone with built-in GPS, the 80 minute limit, 80 meter, sorry, limitation is from the takeoff point. Um, so I'm walking behind the aircraft. I'm a couple of meters behind it now. As you can see, we're up to 61, 63 meters from that point. Um, I'm probably 20 meters behind the aircraft. Oh, sorry, I can get into the extremes. The range has got ahead of me a little bit. And as we come now, we're getting towards 78, 79. There we go. So. It has reached the maximum flight distance, which is 79 meters, basically 80, from the takeoff point. Now, I've come up, now I've walked back up and behind the aircraft. Here I am here. So obviously, even though I took off 80 meters that way, and I'm standing here, um, the, the limit is from that point to here. If I wanted to travel any further from this point, I could either fly back, which it would allow me to do, but it will not let me fly any further away. If I try to, it just goes, nope, nope, you're not doing it. And it tries to bounce off the imaginary fence that it's got up against it, basically. So the two options are, I could either land and reset the home point that way, or you do it via the Go app, 
you have two choices. You go to the top of the main setting screen and you have home point settings. You can either set it to the craft's current location, which is where the craft is, by the little symbol of the arrow, or my location here where I'm standing. Um, so if I rotate it round, I'm standing just down here. So I can either set it to that. So what I'm gonna do now is set it to my location. Click OK. There we go. So I've set it to my location and it's showing 10 meters from me. Um, so now I can travel horizontally up to 80 meters from this point. So if I uh, spin it that way and then send it backwards full speed, put a bit more height in it. Another thing in the Wi-Fi mode while it's going backwards is speed is much reduced compared to in normal control modes. Obviously for safety reasons, um, speed is, is a lot slower. But I'm gonna to start to walk towards the aircraft slightly because the, we will get towards the Wi-Fi range. Um, I'm just gonna try and push it that way slightly as well because I'm heading over to trees. But just to confirm again, the distance limit, sorry, the signal is, is panning out. And as I said earlier, to be honest, you would be lucky to get 80 meters on Wi-Fi. Um, you really would from, from the device. About 50 to 60 is about the limit you would get. And we're about to hit up against the limit. It's dropped the signal. It should come back as I just get a bit closer. There we go. Okay, so again, we've hit that 80 meter limit. Um, there are a couple of flight mode options available in Wi-Fi mode as well. And these are active track and gesture and tap fly. So gesture is the one where you wave at it and it'll do a picture, um, all the usual stuff. Tap fly again is the same as the tap fly on the other versions. You can tap a point on the screen and it'll go there. And active track is the same. I have noticed an interesting um, quirk with both active track and tap fly, and I'll, I'll do it with tap fly first now. I'm just going to turn the screen controls back on, reset the location a second because I am at the maximum distance away, so I need it to know that this is centre. As you can see, it's returned back to zero at the bottom. We'll drop the camera up just to have a look. You're the aircraft round. What I'm going to do is set it to tap fly straight ahead of there. So whenever you do this, you've actually got to turn off um, the option for it to um, control on the screen, otherwise none of it works. So as you can see, it's heading out now on the tap fly. I've sent it out. It's 40. Now, here is the interesting thing the distance limit in tap fly is not 80 meters it's actually 60 to 50 it's about 50 dead it tends to vary slightly depending on it on how it stops um, but it's not the same 80 meter limitation that you have in the normal flight mode um, so if I reset the craft's location, so I'm walking back towards the craft because it, it's headed off away. Set the home point again now to the craft's location, which is that spot there. And what I'm going to do now is we'll do this time with um, active track. So let me just go back into joystick control. It's in the aircraft so it finds me, get it to look down. There we go. Uh, light level is a little bit low this time of night. Um, let's turn the controls back off. And what we're gonna do now is go into active track, tell it to do its little box around me, and we'll do trace. And what we'll do now is we'll go for a wonder. Now this could drop me because I got quite a low level sun over there and the light level is quite low but what we're going to do now is we're going to wander from that point and actually what I'm also going to do while I'm doing it is I'm going to tell it to do a bit of an orbit 
as well, which will help it get a bit more distance. You can see we're at the 15, 16, 17 meter point. 25. So obviously it's in it, it's doing its orbit now as we're coming round for the um, thing and we're hitting 45, 46. So it's gone the other way now because it's hit the orbit. And this time as it comes round, 50 meters, 51 meters, bang. So the distance limitation in both active track and um, tap fly is 50 meters. It's not the same 80 meter limitation, which is a bit of a shame actually. Um, obviously I understand there's a limitation of, of how far you would want it doing something like this, because again, we are on Wi-Fi control. Um, but it still would be nice to have not that necessarily 50 meter limitation on it. So again, we're on top um, active track. So we've circled it there. And then if I tell it to do its orbit. So again, what we've got is that 50 meter limitation. If I wanna now do the controls, you've got to tap the little circle at the bottom in the left hand corner here to get control back. So I'm just being a bit careful because it does get a bit close to you when you're doing the orbits. And let's send it out a little bit more. That's better. But the active track actually in Wi-Fi is really cool because you can actually do some really good footage actually. You can get some really cool footage. Um, set it to record. I haven't actually been recording this. I'm actually doing this on a screen record. That's why I haven't been recording on the app. Um, but it's actually quite good, this little um, active track feature, especially in Wi-Fi. Um, I, I've done a couple of videos like this explaining some features and it, it, it's, it's quite good as a selfie drone mode to be able to just not bother with the remote control, take out the phone, connect it and let it do its thing. Um, I have noticed it, it loses a little bit of altitude whilst it's doing it for some reason. I don't know if it's my location here. You can see the VPS. Um, unless it's not using VPS. I'd assume it is using VPS. Interestingly, there is no VPS signal on the bottom of the screen. And that would actually explain why I've noticed it does lose a little bit of height. Um, oh, we've got a message that I've managed to fill the SD card up. That's yeah, not important. Um, but yeah, so that's it really for the Wi-Fi control mode. Um, you have a couple of limitations, which is 80 meters horizontally from the takeoff point. It is not the location of the pilot, even if you are using a device with Wi-Fi, uh, sorry, GPS. Bit of a shame that, it's a shame it can't update the GPS position to the app. There is a limit of 50 meters in both active track and tap fly when using those modes on the Wi-Fi option. Thank you for watching. I'll do another video again soon.